This is the Red Dragon mouse. It's my new favorite mouse. Let me show you what you get out of the box and how to set this up. So this is the wireless version. I do believe that there is a wired version. You can see it also comes with a receiver and it comes with this nice USB-C braided cord. There's a slot for the receiver, so let's go ahead and stow that in there. Oh, that's pretty nice, it's magnetic. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And a nice thing about this is when it is in the off position but plugged in, it does function as a mouse. So it is moving the cursor right now. The one design flaw I would say is if you put in the receiver, this juts out a little bit so you, you're not really going to want to use the mouse with the receiver inside so you need to take this out and leave it in the case if you want to use it wired one of the main reasons i wanted this mouse however was so i could use it wirelessly so let's go ahead and unplug this now plug in the receiver turn this on and now i am using it wirelessly you can see in the normal on mode that it does light up it has these colors you can also switch this over to eco mode where it still works but it's not using the extra power for the light and one of the main reasons i wanted this mouse was for all of these buttons let's go ahead and download the software so we can start programming so let's go to download mouse we get the 913 let's go ahead and download that click on this to install let's run anyway english next 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 install we'll finish kind of nice it shows what our battery level is at we've got a usb polling rate that we can edit so it's got the buttons 1 through 12 here and then 13 through 16 here we can fine tune the dpi settings change the sensitivity and also change the scrolling speed as well as double click speed this is nice we can also record our own macros and we can even choose our own colors i'm just going to have it on steady i think we'll just go with blue you can see it changes it to this nice blue color with all of the buttons another nice thing about this is you can export your profile and import a profile as well so if you get new computers or something like that you can save the changes all right so i've gone ahead and configured everything the bottom row of buttons i set for navigation so forward back and then left desktop right desktop the middle ro row i did like copy and paste and control x and paste and then the top row i made specific to davinci resolve that's my video editing software so i can make changes a lot quicker and easier and then this rapid fire button I set as the delete so I can quickly click on something and then delete I also tweaked the setting for DPI I am not a gamer so I don't need high DPI but you can see if I go down to 100 it's really really small movements and then 1000 is basically what I prefer when I want to do a little bit faster I'll go to 2000 then you got 3000 and 4000 and of course you can edit it to be whatever you want on here you can also change the mouse sensitivity with the mouse sensitivity you can see me at 20 if I move this to 1 and press apply it seems to do something similar to just changing the DPI where I can be very precise now and it's as if I'm moving the mouse a lot slower I don't really want to do that so let's go back to the default of 10 and I'm pretty happy with the default scrolling speed of 3 per scroll I don't need any macros and I'm just going to keep the lighting as blue. Now I will say if you stop moving the mouse like this where it just kind of sits idle for a while, the light will turn off so that it doesn't use up a lot of battery. All right, so the light just turned off and then as soon as I move it again, the light turns on. So that is nice. It preserves the battery, but it still has that nice cool look. And I do actually like having the lights on. I don't know why, but apparently other people do that's why mice and keyboards with lights exist what makes this mouse awesome for one you can use it wired or you can use it wireless it has 12 side buttons it's got your rapid fire button it's got the normal buttons the normal buttons are a little bit clickety clicky i like them quiet but i'm not really bothered by that sound i know a lot of people like that you also have this mode button in the back here so i could set a completely different profile say i switch between video editing and photo editing and i have different short cut keys for the side buttons I could switch the mode and switch between programs that's really nice overall the look and design of this thing I think is fantastic it feels great in the hand I do prefer my mice to be a little bit heavier than this is but as is it's kind of in the mid range it's not too light not too heavy the only feature I wish
wish that this had that it does not is that it does not have Bluetooth. I like Bluetooth because I don't like using the dongle, but this is a gaming mouse and you don't want Bluetooth for a gaming mouse. I don't do gaming though. I do video editing. So I wish it had that feature of Bluetooth. It's really hard to find a good gaming mouse with Bluetooth, but I will accept this for what this is. It's my new favorite mouse. The software is great. feels good in the hand. Works really well. I highly recommend this mouse. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.